Hello, just a quick mess test today. I had planned to do more than just a quick mess test, but this came from this machine and my VAC Air 3 Wishes, which I had a look at and saw just how messy it was. Thought, right, I'll take a couple of screws out. Bob's your uncle, get it cleaned. Nine screws later, it's kind of exploded on me. So that'll be having a bath. We did own it from you, so the state of it is our own fault. And to show you, I'm getting focus. That one's a filter. I'll probably order a new filter for it. Because that one's a bit bogging. Other than that, I promised that I would film my job lot coming in. But it worked out really difficult to film as we had to bring them in, test them, change fuses on them, and try different things to get them to work. There wasn't one of the what turned out to be 11 machines that was in any working order um, to use. So of that group of machines, I've currently listed four of them for sale for spares or repairs. If they don't sell then I'm happy enough to keep them and use them at a later date for a project. But out of the group that I got, which I'll give you a quick rundown even though I'm meant to be getting ready to go see my horses. I can never find shit when you want it, eh? So, the Hoovers that were in that job lot were the Hurricane Light made by Hoover, a SU3350 Samsung and Burgundy, an SU3363 Samsung and Red, a Genie GUV-01, a 1600 watt Vax, which was white with orange cable, a Hoover Whirlwind, a Zanussi Airspeed Light, a Golden Black Vax, a Hoover Smart SM901, a Hoover Spirit Reach TP71 and a Dyson DC33. Now none of them have working brush rolls. The Hurricane Light, noisy motor, the start pedal won't stay down, we had to jam it with a bit of cardboard to see how it ran. The Burgundy was probably the best out of the lot. But it's filters, oh fuck, oh, shouldn't swear. The filters were awful, like couldn't be in the same room. Um, the Samsung Red didn't run, um, stand and catch didn't work, and it definitely needed new filters like the other Samsung. The Genie, the brush roll was stuck and it smelled burny, which is possible because the brush roll was stuck. That will probably be one of the first to get looked at. The white vax with orange cable, the brush roll did not work. Um, and it could have been the belt. Hoover Whirlwind needs a belt and a new standing catch. Um, the new airspeed light didn't work. Um, the on switch was very loose. Um, it needs a fuse, fuse cover thingy to pick up fucking easily. Um, but I've listed the scrap because. I don't know if it's worth repairing, but if it doesn't sell, it'll probably make its way around to get repaired. The wax, black and gold, the one of the wheels was shattered. Um, so I've marked that for scrap as well, unless I can find one to get a, an axle off of. The Hoover Smart needs a brush roll belt, an end of handle cap, and it's currently blocked. The Hoover Spirit Reach has a broken tool holster. Needs a belt, smells bad, and the holster we need filed back. The DC33 was very noisy, no brush roll, and missing two connections either side. So, from the job lot so far, I marked off the Zanussi, the Zanussi, both the Vaxes, and the DC33 to try and sell on. The Samsung Red, I might do the same with, otherwise it is just scrap. And what I bought, um, I got belts for all of the Hoovers and the Samsung Burgundy. 
and I got filters for the Samsung but I'm not sure what filters the other ones take so I've left the Hoover filters until I can get a look at them. Right. That being said, here's to the quickest mess test I can do so I can get on the just goes to show you've seen how beautifully it picks up often and this is a it looks like a knockoff once I've got oh, I forgot which hoover it is one of the hoovers looks very much like this and I've also seen as a nussy with this sort of purple white so I think I've mentioned before that it looks like a bit like a like it should be something else but it certainly holds its own and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend buying a second hand one of these or getting one for free as I did because they're workhorses and I can't fault them, their pickup's great you've just watched it plough through here and I'm sure that I credit it every time that I use it I've never done any sort of overhaul on it and it just is a Brilliant little upright and put some of the name brands to shame. So, yeah, one to keep an eye out for. I certainly really enjoy using it. Let me see if I can. You know, it was in capture there. There's its label. I don't know if it's legible can't really see much through my screen but yeah it's it's got all these settings my first ever review on my channel was of this machine and I still love it it is still an awesome little machine anyway with that being said I'm going to go and feed some horses 